The busiest travel days of the year will soon be here. What better way to arrive at Grandma's house or any house than in a beautiful new vehicle from Franklin Chevrolet in Statesboro. The new models are a feast for the eyes and as comfortable as mashed potatoes and apple pie. And comfortable is the way you feel each and every time you visit our dealership. Come in and take advantage of special holiday savings at Franklin Chevy. You'll drive home satisfied. The Georgia Southern Seniors taking the field for the last time as the Eagles host Troy in their season finale. Many questions swirling about the future of head coach Tyson Summers and his current staff prior to Saturday's game. Trouble early on as Eagles will fumble. It's recovered by Troy here in the first quarter. The defense able to hold Troy to a field goal though. The kick is up and good and they take a three to nothing lead. Later fourth and short and the Eagle defense steps up once again, denying here. The offense able to take over and what do you know, it's the much talked about rarely seen option resulting in a 20 yard pickup in a first down. This takes us to the second where once again it's the option. Matt Breida getting inside the five on this play. A few plays later, third down, senior Kevin Ellison lofts one up for fellow senior B.J. Johnson who hauls it in and the Eagles take a 7-3 lead. Troy finally getting their offense on track. Jordan Chun breaks free for a big pickup into Eagle territory and then from the three, Chun in for the touchdown and the Trojans take a 10-7 lead which they'd carry into half. Second half and this time it's the triple option the fake and the Kevin Ellison turning up field 20 yards. Next, it's Matt Brito with a rare opportunity to run in the open field. He picks up 15 of his 66 yards in the game. And then again, it's Ellison keeping it and going 24 yards. And after a review, this one ruled a touchdown. Ellison rushed for 115 yards in the game. The defense holding Troy in check for most of the third quarter. Akime Aligwe and Jay Ellison in on the hit. Back on offense once again, Kevin Ellison freezes the defense, faking the pitch, and he's off down the sidelines for a 54-yard touchdown, some nice blocking along the way, and it's 21-10 Eagles. But Troy responding this time. The first down pickup on third and long, Brandon Silvers with the pass, and then it's Silvers to a wide open to Varys McCormick for the 16 yard touchdown. And the lead will be cut to 21 to 17 after three. In the fourth, Silvers swings it over to Jordan Chun, who tries to hurdle a defender, getting a first down here. And then it's Chun, another three yard touchdown run as Troy takes a 24 21 lead. But the Eagles right back as Ellison rifles a pass to B.J. Johnson, who manages to haul it in, stay on his feet with a pirouette, and then outraces the defense for a 64-yard touchdown. The Eagles with a 28-24 lead, but it's never easy, and Troy fighting till the end. Here getting to the seven with seconds remaining in the game, fourth down, and this pass will go incomplete as the Eagles win by a final of 28-24. After the game, Georgia Southern Athletics Director Tom Kleinlein issued a statement saying he wanted to end any speculation surrounding the future of head coach Tyson Summers telling student athletes, recruits, and fans that he will be the Georgia Southern head coach moving forward. Kleinlein went on to say he knows the results on the field this year or not up to Georgia Southern standards, but feels that many aspects are progressing well as Georgia Southern continues their third year in transition as an FBS member. 